All right, so one of the projects we're doing is we're creating a jail cell. And what you see here is a one by three with some lines every nine inches where I want the bars to go for our jail. And the next step is to start drilling some one inch holes for the conduit that I bought. I'm gonna use metal for this just so it's a little more sturdier. I have a one inch Forstner bit in a drill press all set up and then I have a one by three that's screwed down to a piece of plywood that's clamped down and that way all I'm doing is just holding the top one by three lined up with this one by three and I've got this positioned in the center so it's easy for me to just keep moving it along from line to line to keep drilling and these are some holes that I've already drilled right here I'll have to go back and clean them up with some sandpaper where it kind of chewed up the edges and stuff. But it's going pretty fast. So I'm excited because I only have that one board left. So the next step after I clean all this stuff out is um, I will shoot all the one by three framing together and then we'll paint it. It'll be easier to roll before you put the bars in there. You could spray it, but you don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Cause then you gotta clean the sprayer out and all that jazz. That is that. That's all the quiet stuff I can do for tonight. So tomorrow I'll shoot it all together and then uh, cut the bars down and put a coat of paint on this thing. All right, so I have shot all the pieces of wood together. It's ready for paint. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is cut all the bars down to place. The other thing I did is I made like a little slot for, uh, that's supposed to represent like one of those slots that you slide the food trays in through the bars and it's going to act as an obstacle for the balls so the, a bar is going to come all the way down to the floor and you'll have to either put on one side or the other and you might bounce off the bar so I thought that would be kind of a cool little addition one other little trick that we may do if we have time before we paint it is uh, to take some painter's caulk and just smear a little bit in all the seams where the wood meets each other and then around each of the bars. That way it kind of gives it that like welded look. All right, so we got most of the painting done on these black frames here. Now the next step is to take these spray painted bars, slide them into place, and then on the back side of each one of these walls, I'm gonna be taking one tech screw and then just screwing right through the center of this one by three into the metal. That way the outside face will be the cleanest and then we'll go back and touch up anything that needs to be touched up. Insert, slide into that one, slide into the next one, ooh. So far, oh, I'll have to go down and guide that one. There we go. You just get everything all flush here. And then like I said, I'll, I'm, I gotta go find the tech screws right now. But this is gonna look really nice, you guys. I'm gonna be happy with this. It'll also give, finally give this wall, all this framing support and kind of lock it in and make it an actual wall unit. I just got done anchoring the, to the floor. I did the wall over there and then to the brick over there. And now I have all this one screwed in on the top and the wall. I just gotta put a couple anchors in the bottom to keep people from kicking, but the whole idea is they'll they'll put through that little piece right there and then try to make it in the hole there. You gonna be okay in here by yourself? Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just hang out in here all by myself with my toe hanging out of my sock. You wouldn't happen to have any whiskey, would you? Aren't you supposed to be sobering up? You're not gonna climb out of there, are you? What? No, I would never do something like that. I'll paste a couple links to videos below of jails and fencing we've made using the same idea if you're interested. We'd like to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.